Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my weekly makeup basket for you. I'm actually filming this right before it goes up. It probably should have already been up but you know my kids in school and life that's what happens. So I'm going to film this really quick, edit it and get it up for you today and uh, let's get into it. I kept some of the categories pretty minimal but you know girls gotta have some progress. It's that crunch time at the end of the month. All right primer. I'm going to stick with the CoverGirl True Blend Primer for oily skin. Yep, I'm, I'm liking it, but not as much as that Catrice. So I want to get this one done. Even though I am enjoying it, I want to get it done and then just stick with the Catrice. All right, for foundation, a little bit different this week. I have the Bare Minerals Matte in the color 2C Medium. I've only used this once or twice, so I am looking forward to using a mineral makeup this time. I'm excited. So of course I have to have my mineral veil as my powder this week. I am going to be using a um, cream concealer or a liquid concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Light Ivory Photo Focus Concealer. Sticking with that. For bronzer and blush, I'm going to be using the one from e.l.f. This is the Duo. You guys have seen it before. You know you have. And I am going back to my Tristique highlighter and um, get some work done on that. I would love to get that one done soon. And my blush highlighter from e.l.f. Got a Glow. Gonna work on that this week. Mixing it up. I like the gold like I had put on this morning, but um, you know, just want something different. Hoping that it will be bright and sunny today. I mean, it, it is right now, but it's been rainy off and on and it's cold today. I need it to warm up again. All right, moving on to the eyes. Let's go with the primer. Of course, it's the e.l.f. It's, just, it's getting down to the wire, but it's still, it's still got at least a few more weeks on it. So I want to get that one done. Eyeshadows. Let's get to the eyeshadows. I have, of course, my e.l.f. Mad for Matte. It's going to be in here forever. I have my Magnetic Palette. Only has eyeshadows in it this week. This is Kaylin Orchid. This is... Coastal Scents Hot Pot in Ashen. This is from my um, my e.l.f. palette. This is just my repress from shade number one in here. It's very thin, and um, I just want to get it used up. This is a repress from the Coastal Scents 88 palette. It is just that bright yellow shade that I have in Birthday Era Project PM. Evil Shades 13th Hour, and this is just a shade from the Sephora Colorista palette. That I'm trying to hit pan on. Be nice to do that this week. Um, let's see. I have all four of my Coastal Sense sampler quads this week. I'm not putting in the Transformer palette, but I am going to be working on these four quads and um, see what I can't do with those. Like I said, it's the end of the month push. I want to work on those. Um, I have these two cream eyeshadows. Why, why am I having a hard time with the word eyeshadow? It is my crack. I should remember that. This is the Mally Cream Eyeshadow in Twilight. And of course, my e.l.f. Smudge Pot in Ain't That Sweet. Ain't That Sweet. I have two eyeliners. That's all I'm putting in. The, um, what is this? Is this Makeup Forever? Yes, Makeup Forever Aqua XL in black. And Rockstar from Urban Decay right there. So was trying to roll off onto the floor. I caught it. Um, mascara, sticking with the Waterproof Color Max. Enjoying it quite a bit. And for eyebrows, I am, of course, working on my e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Medium. And I can't believe this is still going. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. It is still going, folks. I, I'm surprised. I keep thinking it's going to end any day. And it keeps going. All right, the last thing that I have is for lips. I am going to show you what I'm going to work on. Of course, I am going to be working on the Avon Lipstick Adjuster. It's just the blue and black in there. 
I have the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. I did finally take the stopper out of this. I'm kind of excited about that. But there's still a ton of product in it because the wand is so, so short that, you know, once you get past a certain point, if you don't take the stopper out, you can't reach anything. Those little wands, you got no leverage. I don't know why they make them so small. Makeup Forever Artist Rouge in C211. I'll be working on that. I haven't touched that in a couple weeks, so I want to work on that. <coughs> Pardon me. Allergies. Gotta love them. All right, and the combination that I have on my lips right now is the Nude Sticks Kiss. And you can see the color right there. You guys have seen that a million times. And what is left of my lipsticks in this four colorista palette it's this red right here so it's the nude sticks kiss and this red and that's the combo that i have on my lips today because i had to go with my ghostbuster shirt yeah i've got a ton of ghostbuster stuff just proves that i like it all right that is it for this makeup basket short and sweet um yeah i, I went a little bit easy this week because i do want to get um some focus on a few products and hopefully Hopefully this will do the trick. Next week, I have a feeling, after a late week this week, I have a feeling it's going to be a sherry week next week where I'm just going to go all in. All right, that is everything. If you have a makeup basket this week or this month, let me know what you put in your basket because, you know, I'm curious how other people do it. Do you put all of your Project Pan items in first and then fill in, or do you just kind of mix and match and just put a few panning items? Let me help. Let me know. Let me know how to talk. Let me know how you do your basket, whether it's weekly, monthly, and, and what you like to put into your basket. All right. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.